when using vector databases, inference is an integral part of it. Inference means taking your data, be it text, images, or something else, passing it through an embedding model, which then gives you the vectors that you can insert into the Quadrant database or that you can use for querying and finding similarities. Quadrant Cloud now has an exciting new feature that makes this a lot easier for you. It allows you to use embedding models that are directly hosted in Quadrant Cloud. So all you have to do is send your text data or your image data to Quadrant Cloud and we do the inference and the heavy lifting for you. Let me show you how this works. I created a small Quadrant database cluster here and you can see there is a new tab called inference. This tab gives you a list of all the embedding models we currently support. There are models for dense and sparse text vectors as well as models for multimodal image vectors. The first thing we have to do is we have to create a collection for our model. Let's pick this model here, which has a dimensionality of 384 for dense vectors. If we go to our cluster UI, and to our query console, we can easily create a collection called inference test with a click for it. Now, on the back to the inference page in Quadrant Cloud, we can select our collection here, and you will see then code examples for using the for any kind of like programming language using the SDK of your choice. And these code examples show you how you can Let's maybe switch to the Python example, how you can instantiate a quarter client, and then how you can use it to directly send a text document or an image document to Quadrant, and then use the selected embedding model to create vectors out of that, all in the cloud. And there are code examples both for inserting as well as for querying later on. So let's try this out. I have a terminal here and I chose a curl example. The first request is a request to insert a new point inside of my new collection with some text that I want to create a vector out of with, and I also want to add some payload. And the second curl request is then a similarity search that also sends some text to Quadrant using the same embedding model. And you can see I actually get a result, the insert worked, and I also get a query result back with the vector that I just inserted. And if we look into the quadrant cluster itself, we can also see inside of the collection that there is now one point available with the vector we just created. You can start using inference in quadrant cloud now. It is available in all US regions on all our cloud providers and managed cloud, with more regions over the rest of the world coming soon.